Hello everyone! In this video I will show you how I made a hydroponic crafty system using just a flower pot and some styrofoam. So far the plants are doing very well and it was so easy to set up. This easy to build hydroponic crafty system uses a 12 inch flower pot and a styrofoam top. Both of these are easy to find and easy to work with. Here is the 12 inch flower pot I'm using. It had previously housed a cucumber plant in soil and it was ready for a new purpose. I bought this on Amazon of course and it was around $10. I had some styrofoam laying around the house and I thought why don't I just try to make a cracky system using the materials I have on hand. I laid the pot on the styrofoam and drew a circle around the outside perimeter of the pot and then using a knife I cut a pretty decent circle to lay on top of the pot. Next I laid out the three inch neck cups I normally use to get a sense of where the holes should be placed and then I used a hole saw attached to a drill to make indentations for the holes. You could trace around the neck cup with a knife if you don't want to use a hole saw. I only used the hole saw to make indentations for the holes. I didn't drill all the way through, I was afraid of breaking the sheet of styrofoam, so I just used the drill to give me a good outline and then I used a knife to manually cut out the holes. Here you have the pot on the shelf already filled with hydroponic solution. I used the master blend formula here. You can see how I mixed it in a previous video I made where I set up a 5 gallon tote to grow tomatoes. To recap, I mixed together 12 grams of calcium nitrate, 12 grams of the Master Blend formula, and 6 grams of Epsom salt to 5 gallons of water. I use a small scale to make sure I measure it out properly. This scale can be set to grams by pressing the unit button, and then I use a plastic cup or a paper plate to measure out the ingredients. So to zero out the scale, you have to press the tear button. After I measured out and mixed up the ingredients, I filled the pot up with the hydroponic solution. I put the three inch net cups into the holes I made and placed it on top of the pot. Now I'm set and all I need are some plants. Here I have a cucumber seedling ready to go into the pot. This is from some Diva cucumbers I planted about three weeks ago. Here you can see the seeds I used. I planted two cucumber seeds and three tomato seeds. Here you can see the seedlings. The three on the left are from the tomato seedlings. The two on the right are the cucumber seedlings. I already planted two of the tomato seedlings in the five gallon tote container. So now I have one tomato and two cucumber seedlings. Here you can see the first cucumber seedling going into the pot. I have these under 6500 Kelvin fluorescent lights. I ended up adding another light closer to the plants. This one is too far away right now when the plants are so small. And here is the second cucumber seedling and in it goes. This seedling didn't make it. You can see that it is much smaller than its sister seedling and its roots didn't go down far enough to reach the water. My mistake, I should have realized it needed more time to grow before moving it. It did stay alive for a couple more weeks, but it never grew much bigger and finally it died. I ended up putting the other tomato seedling in the pot as well. Here you can see the two hydroponic crack key containers side by side. On the left you have the five gallon tote and on the right is the simpler build, the styrofoam on the top of the flower pot. Here we are six weeks later and one of the cucumber seedlings has been growing nicely and we can see here the beginnings of a cucumber. I planted this particular seed, the diva seed, because it is self-pollinating. Indoor plants don't have nature helping it to pollinate. There are no birds or bees in the house to help. In the past I grew cucumbers indoors and because I used a different seed they needed to be pollinated by hand and if I missed a flower the small cucumber shriveled up and died. So, lesson learned, try to find self-pollinating or parthenocarpic varieties. And here we can see the runt. This is the seedling that hung on for a while, but eventually it did not make it. In the back you can see the other tomato seedlings have been growing nicely too. 
Here we are at eight weeks. The two plants in the back of this pot, the tomato on the left and the cucumber on the right, have both been growing very nicely. Let's take a peek at the roots. I love looking at the roots. They are so interesting to see since you don't see them when you're growing in soil. Here is a better angle. You can see how nicely the plants are growing. And also I swapped out the other light for this one. It is T5, 24 inches long, and I was able to move it down closer to the plants, and they seem to love it. You can see the tomato plant is spreading out, so after I shot this video, I got out my pruning scissors and trimmed it down quite a bit. Now it's another week later, and you can see both the tote and the flower pot cracky systems are growing nicely. I see quite a few cucumbers budding all over the plant, but I don't know how long it'll take before they're ready for harvest. I will keep filming and take notes on that. So there you have it, an easy to build system using just a flower pot and some styrofoam. What happened was when I went to Home Depot to get a five gallon tote, they only had one left. That's the one you see here on the left. So I had to improvise with what I had in the house and that's how the flower pot and styrofoam idea came about. If you have comments or suggestions on this video, please leave them below. I'm looking forward to eating some fresh cucumbers and tomatoes very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.